What's up, everybody? I got the box today. Uh, some GX Ultra Shiny uh, Japanese box, not the Korean. I spent that little bit of extra money and ended up getting the Japanese ones because they are a little bit more fun to open because you get that GX in every box, unlike the Korean, which is pretty much just a uh, uh, like two or three per box, but you still get those shinies. So that's cool. But yeah, so plus you get more cards. You get 15 packs in the uh, Korean box where you get 10 pa packs in the um, the Japanese one. So yeah, that's interesting. But let me grab some code cards back here. I need to restock my code card pile. And here we go. So since we're opening Japanese, they don't have code cards. And even if they did, they'd be for the Japanese online game. So I got some code cards. Let's just start off with a Guardians Rising. There we go. Rip. And into the code card garbage. Uh, let's just crack this open and see what we can pull. I would love to pull a shiny Charizard, but any of the evolutions would be probably better because uh, that's what I am collecting. But I mean, or, or or Cynthia, I think Full Art Cynthia is probably the most expensive card in this set. Um, so let's just, let's uh, put this into, actually let's compare these boxes for a second. I wanna compare this box to the other Japanese box just for the sake of the checklist is, uh, well, no, it's exactly the same. So I uh, I thought it would have been a little bit different. And put that back there. Let's get these 10 packs out and put you back together. And there we go. Anyways, less than a week until, uh, until I'm Broken Bonds comes out and I am going to buy so many cars because there are so many packs because there are quite a few cars that I am really hoping to pull, especially Green's Expedition and uh, the Welder card. Let's see, there's the secret rare or the the alt art secret rare for the uh, Gardevoir and um, Selvion, and then there's also the hyper rare rainbow restaurant and charizard card that everybody else is after so yeah i'm gonna buy probably way i'm gonna spend way too much money on buying day one packs but it's gonna be fun opening them anyway so let's just get started with some ultra shiny uh if the Korean ones didn't take so long to get in, then I probably would buy uh, more Korean cards. But whatever. Three to the front. Let's see what we can pull. Let's uh, zoom in a little. Focus that up. And I believe this is what? A Pokemon catcher. And we have a Venusaur. One of the pretty ladies. A Raul. An Alolan Dugtrio with that glamorous hair, except for that one that has weird haircut. Bulbasaur with all those bubbles. And there is our first hollow. Next hollow, there is our GX Buzzwall. And our Shatter Mirror Foil is a fire chicken. All right. Put you over there. I hope uh, I shuffled these just right so the um, the shiny and full art cards are at the bottom of the pile so we can grow into anticipation. Should I zoom in on this a little bit more? Get a better, better focus. As long as I can keep my hand at this exact spot. We have a Rotom. A boring Rotom. There is our Cynthia. Some eggs. Gibble. A knockoff Pikachu. Electric Squirrel, not an electric mouse. 
And there is our first hollow. It looks like a uh, Zekrom. No, that is a. Uh, that, uh, yeah, I know what it is. I just, my brain isn't working today. There is a Lycanroc GX, and our Shatterfoil is a copycat. And over the weekend, uh, the new Japanese set came out. Uh, Sky Legends, which has some awesome, awesome cards. Here is a code card for Lost Thunder. I mean, I think every other every card in that set I really want for my collection, uh, especially the the uh, what is it the all art. Bird Trio. I, it's like a stained glass window. I'm sure you guys would have seen it online by now if you follow any of the uh, anything on Instagram because that is what everybody's talking about and that card looks amazing. All right. We have a mountain. I'll just call that Mount Fuji. We have the, we have its Rolla. Uh-oh, we're jumping ahead. We have that chicken with the fire kick. An Inke, and there is our first hollow, a monkey. There is our Marsh Shadow GX, and a Blaziken Shatterfoil. No shinies yet, but that's okay. That just means they're saving the best for the last packs. Unless there's a shiny in this one, but it doesn't matter. There is a Quagsire. Or whatever it is uh some kind of what is that wishful baton i think it is i can't remember there is a mimikyu that would be awesome if i could get a shatter foil of that mimikyu that would be perfect for my collection there is a uh, a shrimp there is what is that a Firo in the background lava and there is our full art shiny gx yes that is sweet. Let's put you back here. All right. And let's get through the others. There is our Shatterfoil. Okay, so we found the full art uh, secret rare. So now we just have to find those last two shinies. Okay, I had to make sure I wasn't running out of time some energy more energies a rotom what is that a washer rotom a sad sad uh cubone and a low and diglet there is our buzz wall whatever that is there is our whatever that is again gx and a shatter of a Magnemite. And for the next pack, let's do a code card really quick and Steam Siege, in case anyone wants some XY. And we are continuing. Why do these packs have to be so expensive? Ugh, it kills me when I have to buy a box, but they're so amazing. Once I start opening them, I forget how much they cost because they are such. Actually, I stop forgetting I stop caring how much they cost because they're so amazing at a low end cubone or not cubone Marowak some weights dragon puppy dog Torchic looks like he's one after some berries hey shiny Charmander yeah for some reason I get more excited for some of these smaller uh, shinies than I actually do for the the full arts but yes there we go there is our shiny charmander all happy and happy and happy we'll put you over here and we got a guzzlord and hey there is our reshiram all right so there's one more shiny hiding amongst the packs If I pull another shiny Eevee, I'm gonna give it away. Because that is a great card, but some of you guys deserve some great cards as well. Rotom fan, 
some energy, an Alolan Vulpix, very nice. And there is our Magnemite. Yeah, shiny Magnemite, all gold. Some gold magnets there, very cool. Get a good look at that. That is going into our shiny pile. All right, let's continue. I like this card. It's like with the sun beating down, looks like he's standing between trees. Can't really tell, but it looks pretty cool. And a GX card. All right, so in these three packs, we know that there isn't gonna be any more shinies. So we will just see what awesome uh, GX cards we can pull. And we have some kind of, something that has to do with energies, a snow monster, a frying pan, whoops. And there is an Eevee, we could stick you over here. Here's the uh, Korean version of that Eevee, right there. I just bought an Eevee binder for all my Eevees and Eeveelution cards. So that collection is going to start growing rapidly. Blaziken, stack a deck, 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 and our reef. I swear I have like two of these uh, all together. Those shatter foil lavas. Okay, two packs left. Which one should I open? Let's go with this one. One and two and three. And. Flip it around for a leaf blower, an Alolan Executor, Lusamine, a Fox, Phoenix, Ralt, and our, hey, there is our Foxy Lady. Ugh, why can't I think of some of these names? I know what they are. I know who they are, Xerneas. There is a Rayquaza, very cool, and a Rotom Fan Shatterfoil. Uh, what is it, Delphox, I think? Yeah. And the last pack of this box, we have a Copycat. Maybe this Shatterfoil will be that, either a Shatterfoil Eevee or a Shatterfoil Mimikyu. One of those will be preferred since there are no more shinies. There is a Froki. And there is a Prism, Prism Star. That's cool. We'll put you back here. And what is our Shatter going to be? It is going to be an... Oh, it's a squid. It's all right. That's cool. All right, let's give some more code cards. I got lots more code cards. There is a Lost Thunder. Rip and throw. Guardians Rising. And a team up. We will show off the pulls. Let me get some sleeves for them, and then I will do some more code cards. One, two, and three. We will put you into that nice, nice fit. If I don't, and come on, I don't want to hurt the card. Get in there. Why don't you want to go in? There we go. Good enough. You don't want to bend it too much. And our Charmander. That one slid right in. Weird. And. This creepy, creepy thing because all the cars that I've seen have been super creepy with this thing in it, kind of like just creeping out in someone's bedroom, being all creepy deepy. All right, there are our shinies. Let's zoom this back out and put this into focus. There we go. All right, and the last two code cars we have a team up. and a Lost Thunder. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. That would be amazing. Uh, and I'm not sure what I have for my next video, but I'm sure it's going to be amazing regardless. I'll just have to pick something out. I mean, there's only a couple more days until, until uh, I'm Broken Bonds comes out. So once that comes out, I will have a whole bunch of videos. But until then, I'll just find some stuff here and there and uh, make the best of it. So until then, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, afternoon, morning, night, whichever it is when you're watching this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Goodbye.